You can see a little rain, huh? Yes, we do have some rain and storms on Action Live right now. Oh, wow. uh, nothing severe, and it's very isolated, and that's how it's going to be throughout the day today. But, you know, it should help to keep temperatures at bay at least somewhat. I don't think we're going to quite hit 100 degrees this afternoon, and we got pretty close yesterday. We started out Saturday, though, at 100 degrees. Sunday, we ended up at 99. That puts us at 5.4 degrees above normal for the month. But as far as rain is concerned, we're only eight days in, but we are technically at 0.57 below average. We had 0.22 just the other day. But next in live showing that there is a little bit of promise out there. We do have some isolated showers and storms kind of just in pockets, but a couple of showers just moving east of Stroud, uh, north of Welty. Also a couple of showers around Wetumpka and Allen, southern Pontotoc County into Garvin County around Paws Valley, some light rain. Also some isolated showers just west of Colony and Retrop and some showers around Vincent. Not seeing any lightning with that right now. Earlier we had a couple of lightning strikes, but that's how it's going to be throughout the day. Any one location across the state does have a small chance of at least seeing some rain and storms. We're seeing more of a partly cloudy sky from our Guthrie camera, part of our Pike Pass Sky Cam network. It's certainly warm. We're at 93 degrees, southwest wind at 15, gust at 22, and with dew points in the upper 60s, it feels more like 97 degrees. We have a boundary to the northwest. Now behind it, it's more of a northeast wind, so temperatures not as hot. Only the 70s and low 80s across the panhandle. We have a 76 degrees up there in Harper County, but the rest of us seeing some low to even some upper 90s. It's already 97 in El Reno, 98 degrees in Kingfisher. So there's where that boundary is. Out ahead of it, we have more of a south to southwest wind between 10 to 20 miles an hour. The thing is, this front is not really going to move a whole lot over the next couple of days. So calling it pretty stationary. So that will keep at least a slight chance. Again, in any one location across the state, for some rain and storm. So for this afternoon, there's really no rhyme or reason where the storm could end up, but if we do get a storm that moves over the metro, it could produce a heavy downpour, maybe a strong wind gust or two, but that's about it. Overnight tonight, we're still going to keep a slight chance of storms and into tomorrow morning, but overall chances will start to lessen during that time before kind of moving back up as we get into the afternoon tomorrow. So over the next couple of days, the pattern looks fairly unsettled with the rain and storm chances around that should help to keep temperatures at least below 100 degrees. But later this week, we are going to have more of a northeast wind. It's still going to be hot. Temperatures back in the mid 90s. It's not going to have a big impact on temperatures, unfortunately. So we're not expecting a whole lot of rain. But by the time we get into the weekend, all the rain chances kind of move out of here. The thing is, by early next week, it starts to look like we may have a little bit of a pattern change. The ridge kind of moves back to the west. We're going to have a storm move over the Great Lakes. And that could send a couple more boundaries our way that could eventually have an impact on temperatures and rain chances. So today, still looking for high of about 97 degrees. North of the boundary, still hot in places. Low 90s, though, across the far northwest, but everywhere else, upper 90s to around 100. And again, for this afternoon, any one spot across the state has an overall low chance of seeing rain and storms. Kind of the same thing for this evening, overnight and into tomorrow morning, an even less chance. And then temperatures drop down into the low to mid 70s overnight tonight. Tomorrow afternoon, pretty much the same. It's partly cloudy, it's hot. Highs back in the upper 90s, the low 90s across the far east, though, with a slight chance of rain and storms across central and southern Oklahoma. But it does look like the chances may be a little bit greater across far western and far southeast Oklahoma. By tomorrow evening, though, everyone has a very slim chance of seeing some isolated rain and storms. By Wednesday, it looks like the rain chances move out. We're going to see more sun. The wind's generally going to be out of the northeast between 10 to 20, but it still looks really hot for us. Mid 90s, but upper 80s across the far east and we're going to be staying in the mid 90s at least for a few more days. But by early next week, as of right now, it still looks pretty hot. Highs around 100, it looks dry. But after that, we're starting to notice maybe a little bit of a change and we could get some rain and storms in here. But for now, uh, low chances for rain today and into tomorrow.